So a few people to get on here and then I'm going to talk about my proposal for my 15 days to slow the spread of obesity. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to go live too after that, do a little q and I'll set, I'll set everything up here and I'm just going to do a little craft. Uh, I'm, I'm working on my hobby here. So I will be able to take questions and shit like that here in a minute afterwards. But here we go. I don't know who all we have on. I don't know, I don't know how, how many people are going to see this, but my... <laughs> I love it. I love. I, I love how much we. How, I, I'll get to that in a second. Anyway, um, fifteen days to slow the spread of obesity. For fifteen days, I challenge anybody out there, anybody out there, for fifteen days, not to eat any processed foods, processed carbohydrates, processed sugar, none. Just eat. Just eat lean, proteins, vegetables, legumes. Eat, just eat that. Just eat the basics. No added sugar. No, nothing. Nothing with added sugar. Nothing. For 15 days. 15 days. If you can do this for 15 days, you should then decide if you want to then go forward and keep trying to get healthy. If you cannot do this for 15 days, it should tell you that you are not healthy. It should tell you that you have a problem. If you cannot go without sugar, added sugar, for 15 days, it should tell you that you have a problem with it. It, it just should. If you, if you can't just give it up, it should tell you you have a problem with it. So my suggestion, since obesity is without a doubt the biggest threat to the healthcare system in America, in the world just about, obesity is the biggest threat to, the, to an individual's health in the world because it leads to so many other disorders, chronic illnesses and diseases. Without a doubt is the biggest threat to the healthcare system in America. So we should, for 15 days, all try to slow the spread of it. Uh, does Diet Coke count? No artificial sweeteners too. If you can't go without artificial sweeteners or sweeteners or, or processed carbohydrates for two weeks, for 15 days, you have a problem. Uh, you, you, you have a problem, period. If you all of a sudden go, what about my Diet Coke? You're, you're, you're looking, like, if you need that stuff, if you need it, it's a problem. It's a problem. I mean, how can you not see it as a problem if you need it like that? So hang on, I'm gonna set the camera up a little different here because I'm gonna be doing a little shit. I need it a little closer. Because now we'll just do some Q&A. Anyway, first time catching a live. Uh, love your perspective. Thank you very much. Haven't uh, drank in soda in years. I, I, had a, I had a Sprite for the first time in, you know, re in uh, like fucking years and years and years the other, uh, when we were uh, camping and kayaking the other week. And it was literally just because I needed to fucking have some, you know, I needed instant energy because I was so low. Anyway, I don't need it, I just like it. If you can't go without it for 15 days, you need it. If the thought, you know, seriously, if you can't go without it for 15 days, then, then don't do it for 15 days. I don't need it, I just like it. It's hilarious. It says every it says every addict ever. I don't drink pop anyway, good for you. Who really thinks Diet Coke is actually diet? No shit. Let's see. I love him even more knowing, knowing he's an atheist. Oh, thank you. So, and then, do people ever mistake you for Gil Bill Goldberg? Seeing as how I could like possibly step inside of him and do jumping jacks and not touch the side, that's how much smaller I am than him? No. Uh, I, 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 have, I have yet to have that happen. Uh, ever. <laughs> ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Thank you, though, for the compliment. Hey, how are you? I'm very fucking good. And so, uh, Sophie Fat Liberation... You know, I don't know if you're a, you're like a, a parody account, or or you actually like believe this shit, or you're just just a troll. But you do provide some serious, serious, serious laughter for me. Like it's stuff like that that like you know, because no matter which way it is, it's serious laughter, right? Like you know, if uh, you know, if like if if you're just a troll, you spend an inordinate amount of time just with that one thing. So it's kind of like sad and funny to me, you know. Because shit like that will not bother me. I, I, I love shit like that when people do stuff like that, though, because it does give me other content and things to post, and it's all about engagement, right? Okay, what is the Four Lifts Comp 20, uh, 21 thing? A bunch of people have, have, met, have asked if I'm doing that. I don't know what it is. So if you guys, I mean, and, and I don't do lifting competition, and I don't plan on doing lifting competition ever again. And I never did it and never will. So what's up? I mean, I, I, it's, you can feel free to let me in on the joke because I don't get it. Um, nor will I, uh, because there, I will not be in a lifting competition this year. I can guarantee you. My my focus this year and moving forward is has nothing to do with how much anybody can fucking lift. None. My focus moving forward is literally health. 
and uh, and and helping people uh, survive obesity because guess what? They almost fucking destroyed the fucking country by trying to fucking protect them. It's either that or they just are going to use them an excuse. But obesity is the reason why we fucking shut down. I again, I just asked that question. I have no idea what the fucking four lifts competition 20, 2021 thing is. Is there any possibility you could cancel the hawk hunting for my safety? The fuck are you talking about? Uh, I had lost 100 pounds but gained 50 back. I need to get back on, on the horse. There's no on or on, off the horse. Don't think of it that way. Change your whole fucking life because there's no on or off. You need to actually like what you're going to do. You can't just be like, you can't do that. You, you'll fall off, trust me. You'll stay off. I'm a believer in fit, healthness, but let's not go uh, to the other extreme. Not having process, think about your, think about what you just fucking said. You're thinking that eating actual animals and food grown out of the ground is extreme. Think about the fucking idiocy of that. You're thinking about the like, real, real unprocessed food, only eating that is somehow extreme. That's actually the fucking problem for a lot of people. I mean, it really is. That's, that was, that's, that's a, that a hilarious, like like statement that I don't think you realized, you know. I mean, well, what, you know what? But I could be wrong because I see you're answering somebody. You wouldn't need a vaccine if you were fit. You wouldn't need a vaccine if you're fit. You don't need a vaccine if you're fit. You would not need the COVID vaccine if you're fit. You don't need it. You don't. Hey, Alan, were you were you ever fat or really overweight? Just curious. I was morbidly obese. Yeah, I was like 270 pounds. You must be new. Is it true that too much cardio makes you skinny fat? That is not true. At all. Whatsoever. I mean, it's. I'm sure it does make some people skinny fat because they probably don't watch their nutrition and work on any other things, but too much cardio. First of all, cardio is a very loose fucking term. Like, what do you consider cardio? You know, volume, volume, you know, circuit work is cardio. That's the thing. You people, you people get so dogmatic in your shit. Anyway, uh, 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 uh. I'm immunocompromised and want everybody to stay inside to protect me. You should stay inside to protect you. I've been doing clean carnivore and IF since January and I've never felt better in my life. I don't have any sugar cravings at all. When you don't take in that much sugar, you don't get that much sugar cravings. Sugar's a drug. People need to get there. Hey man, I jumped into the live a while back. You basically told me to get my mental stuff in order to get my eating issues. It worked so well. I'm happy to thank you. Uh, Alex Tackleberry, thank you very much for listening. When I say that to people, sometimes they get really, really, really defensive. And it's never, like, when I tell people to get mental help, it's never to be defensive. Like, it's never to be an insult. Like, I, I've gotten counseling. Every Everybody should get some fucking counseling. After 2020 especially, everybody should get some fucking counseling. I don't understand why this is even a fucking debate. I don't even understand. That's not an insult. You get some counseling. Whenever I say that to somebody, that is a very fucking clear... I'm actually telling you to get some fucking counseling. I think it will help your fucking ass out. I mean, we, we, we actually have a counselor that we refer people to for our, for our coaching. I, I mean, I, 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 I value talking to a, a mental health professional as one of the healthiest things you can fucking do. And, and, and everybody should, uh, especially nowadays. No shit. Because, I mean, I got, I, got, I got a real deal for you. If you've got a teenager right now, if there's a, if there's a teen in front of their age, they need some fucking counseling after the fucking shit we put them through. You know, they, they, or or younger. I mean, fucking young kids. My God, like we have fucked up that generation horribly, horribly, horribly. Like fucking radically bad, radically, radically bad. So, I am preparing my uh, my one of my indulgences for the week right now. Uh, let's see here. Science published uh, published published a study saying it will take us ten to twenty years to get out of the pandemic. If we don't open everything up and let the virus circulate, another uh, another installment of I told you so. I guess that's the fucking thing. Um, and BB Cuber ninety nine, could you uh, message me that someplace, please, before uh, before it gets pulled from everywhere? I appreciate it. Alan Roberts, really, I know of people in my country, very fit people, who went on daily jogs, had their lungs eaten up by COVID, and as I said, let's go to the other extreme. You're fucking ridiculous, motherfucker. I know anecdotal data, even though all the science points to this is all bullshit and fuck blah blah blah. blah. You need to calm your ass the fuck down. You sound fucking stupid. So, 
It is not extreme. You do not need a fucking. I, if you are under sixty five, or if you're under uh, definitely, if you're definitely under fifty and healthy, you do not need a fucking vaccine. The vaccine is probably more, more likely more dangerous for you than the fucking than this thing. Live your fucking life. Like what the fuck, people? Like you you don't want to have any risk of any fucking disease. Like. COVID is, is the, should be the least of your worries. Most of you motherfuckers should be worried about getting diabetes and fucking having your feet chopped off. Fucking ridiculous pansy-ass motherfuckers worried about a fucking bad cold when you could fucking just as well get fucking healthy. Like, I've had friends die. I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about your loss, but I've had friends die of the flu. I, I, know, I know three dudes my age that have fucked up lungs from the flu. All different years. It fucking happens, people. It's called reality. You know the one way to fucking mitigate all the really bad damage and like that? Be as healthy as you fucking can. Stop being, then stop being so fucking cowardly. You sound fucking pathetic. Sup, Holmes? What's up, Satan? How the fuck you been today? I've been going running every day. Uh, with running, I try to include work, uh, working out separate party parts, opinions, They're running every day. If you like it, do it. I think it's, I think it's kind of pounding on the body, for me personally. Probably because my, uh, probably because my body's all fucked up from, from lifting heavy and doing all sorts of shit when I was younger. But also that, uh, uh, some people, I think, are genetic. I, mean, I think some people just are genetically better runners. And my fucking running form is probably horrible. My gait's probably off to fucking not be efficient. That's sort of shit. But do you do you have a favorite showing off exercise like jumping high or heavy squats or anything other thing? It used to be jumping high and heavy squats. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need, feel the need to show off exercising anymore. Though I finally grew the fuck up. So I heard one of the one of my sole the foot things. Uh, I'm not overweight at all. Any advice? You should go to the doctor. Vaccines are necessary. No, they are not. Uh, everybody should get counseling, period. Everybody, I totally agree. Um, let's see. Darius Thurman, thank you for the donation. What do you think about my 600-pound life? The show is funny and sad at the same time. What do you think? Uh, I wears Amber Reed or uh, Steve Asante. Um, I don't know who Steven Asante is, so um, I don't know. And I'm, I'm not going to discuss Amber Lynn Reed anymore, ever, just so everybody knows. Um, she has messaged back and forth with me in text. I've offered some advice. I'm not going to say if she's going to take it or leave it. I don't know. That's up to her. But the only thing I can say is that we, I have had a conversation with her. And once I've had a conversation giving advice to a person about their weight loss, or I've had a conversation with a person on a friendly basis where we talk about family and stuff like that, I will no longer mention them or my opinions upon them. Ever. So I, I'm never, ever, ever going to mention Amberlynn Reed in, 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 any, in, in any negative opinion or any positive opinion or anything like that. Like, I've give, I'm, I'm not going to do that at all anymore. So, and I did want to put that out there for everybody to know that, that since I have spoken to her, um, I do, I, like, I make sure, I make sure that when somebody has a private conversation with me where they think it, it's going to be, like, it's, I, if you, like, send me a fucking thing, like, I fucking hate you, you bald-ass motherfucker, that's free fucking game. I'll share that shit all fucking day. But once I've had an actual conversation with somebody, I will no longer mention them negatively ever in a video. And I try not to mention them ever uh, in video, even positively or whatever, uh, because people just keep asking. But I'm not going to mention her ever again. But the 600-pound life thing, TLC, I was in contact with the, the uh, producer that, of, uh, of the, my, uh, of the Two-Ton Family Show. Uh, Family by the Ton show. I was in, I, in TLC was interested in like in you know booking uh, make, making something around us or having us appear on the shows. And as soon as I said I would like uh, I would need total autonomy about what I would say and total autonomy about how I would coach these people, they never called me back. So I'm happy they didn't because I would I wouldn't want that. Have you ever considered uh, moving uh, into a slimmer country? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm, I I love America. America needs counseling for about 80 million people. Yeah, American News Council for, for a lot. But, you know, you guys can keep saying the four lifts competition 2021 all you want, but until I know whether it's fucking, like, what, what it's about, like, I I can't even fucking comment. So, uh, let me know. Do you play J.K. Simon's double uh, in counterpart? No, but if they want to pay me to do it fucking next time, I'd fucking gladly do it. And seriously, I don't fucking care. How do I mentally recover from two nights of binging after great progress for a little over a month? I'm not obese, but overweight. Um, I'm stressing how much uh, it will affect my progress. Listen, if you're going to fucking worry about every binge, then you're going to stay, stay in the binge cycle. Um, but if you're stressing about how much just those two binges will uh, affect your progress, you need to accept the fact that you're a binge eater. You need to get some, uh, uh, some mental help for that, maybe. Because mentally recovering from that, you just stop eating, you know? Um, do I marinate my meats? <laughs> uh, sometimes. I'm a teenager and I always wanted to get really, really strong. Then you should talk to your coach. Uh, hey, man, do you believe that home gyms are the future of fitness? I, uh, I believe so. And Darius Thurman, no, you didn't get banned. 
I don't know why you think you got banned. Uh, here's the fucking thing, people. YouTube pulls a lot of fucking comments out of my videos all on their own. I mean, there is a filter word list with mostly like all the racial slurs and all sorts of bullshit like that or any like common trolling things. But uh, YouTube just pulls a lot of comments just like they don't fucking, they, they don't want people watching my videos. They don't want anything seriously. So uh, my craft for later on today, my treat for later on today is made, baby. Made, made, made. But uh, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, so it doesn't necessarily mean, not, you know, I, I removed it. If you copy and paste stuff or you annoy me, I'll fucking do it. The Tom Woods conference about the uh, pandemic was lightning. I haven't watched it yet. Anyway, hi from Germany. I know you don't eagle lift. Thanks for answering. Therapy for all. Alan's tattoos. So my tattoos are for me, guys. Just be real. Uh, the food here, the food here is made to be addictive. I totally believe that. Have you seen Smart Max Mess yet? Yeah, brand called Razor. No, I haven't. It's a fucking Smart mask for the dumb people that will buy one. Stupid shit. So, uh, trying to get cut rather than bulk. My advice, maybe. My bad. How did I become the angry bald man? I just fucking said it in one fucking video to tell you the truth. Like, you know, somebody was with like the the facts that was community was complaining about me. And I was like, you know, one video from the angry bald man, and you fucking blah blah blah. So I called myself the angry bald man. It just fucking stuck. So, I got my vaccine because I don't want to spread the virus to anyone who might end up. And also or die. Then you got your vaccine because you're a dumb fuck because it doesn't actually stop you from being contagious. It just stops you, depending on the vaccine you got. So uh, that would mean that you got your vaccine for a completely false reason if you got one of those particular ones. So that would make you a complete fucking dumb fuck. Shocking enough. Uh, do you have one, one children? I've got a 21 year old and I'm looking forward to grandchildren several years from now. Most of the people in my 600 pound life have suffered horrific, horrific abuse. They don't represent that well at all. They don't. They don't show the counseling they need, anything like that. It's it's bothersome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. On videos, angry bald man, live stream, chill bald man. Depends on the depends, depends on the live stream too, motherfucker. Um, how do you how do you avoid the other extreme? I used to be 505 pounds. You're 200 pounds now. I deal with diet. I, I deal with dietary perfection. Uh, I try to keep the calories under. Under 1,200 calories a day and feel feel guilty if I eat any more than that. You need to get counseling, very serious psychological counseling. So that that's how you're that's how you're going to avoid that, because you know Benjamin, I'm not sure about the actual the actual you know like your actual case, but if you deal with if you already know you're dealing with something, you need to get psychological counseling first. You need to go get counseling. That's that's my biggest suggestion to you. Love your videos. They make me uh, have a harder look at myself and. Uh, and tail accountability for my actions. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Hi, Alice. 120 pounds, and now I'm at 135. And I couldn't be happier and healthier. Thanks for the videos. Thank you very much. And great fucking job, Jennifer. Seriously. I dig the tattoos. Whoever doesn't like them. Uh, whoever, whoever does them for your work, is like, he's a great, great dude. Great dude. You're ridiculous. Uh, Alan already lost our 10,000 subscribers. I'm just going to fucking keep it going, motherfuckers. Fucking fucking flee! I don't care. Like that's the fucking thing. I don't know. You guys, th to this, to you guys, this world is so important, and like, it's amazing to me. Like m most of the people that are, that that you guys follow, like, if it's like a real serious, like my whole life is YouTubing. Come on, guys. Like that. Okay. I mean, that's fine. But you realize, that, like, a lot of these people place ads. You realize, that, I mean, it's the algorithm. You realize that, like. I know I say unpopular shit, and you do realize that I, I knowingly piss off about half the people that watch my videos. I know this. Like, it, subscribers come, go, whatever. I'm fucking straight, motherfuckers. Like, I, I, made, I made sure never to have to fucking worry about YouTube when I first started this shit, ever. I'm from Denmark. In 2018, I worked at a boys' summer camp in Maine for the summer. The food they served was disgusting. I could literally have uh, my arteries clogged when it's it, it, oftentimes. Yeah. Starting to cut all soda when I watched your videos uh, and now lost 10 pounds. Uh, you might have been me. Th good job. Thank you very much. Been watching you for about a year. It's really helpful to stay healthy. Thank you very, very much. Well, guys, it doesn't seem like I have many questions. Um, and nobody will tell me what this uh, four lifts challenge thing is. I can guarantee this. I'm not doing any lifting challenges. I can, I can guarantee you uh, exact, uh, that exactly. I'm not doing any lifting challenges ever. I'm not gonna like. Here's the thing, guys. My my goal is not that, and I am going to fuck. I, I'm gonna stay downsized. I'm not gonna like pursue strength ever again, like ever ever again. It's never happening. Uh, 
What should I do if I have a fat cat? My wife has tried making sure that we don't just leave food out because we, we have one fat cat. We have one out of three fat cats. So we just try to leave, we try to feed her separate and feed the other ones in private, that sort of thing. Alan, I checked last week, you were at 252 right now and have 50, right now and have 53 wouldn't be increasingly, apparently people can't do math. I don't know. Maybe it's gone down or up. I don't care. I honestly don't give a fuck. Like, I just, just to be real, Mike. I honestly, I honestly don't give a fuck. YouTube's gonna do whatever they. they I, I, I'm shocked that they didn't delete this channel too, because they already deleted one of my channels. So I'm actually shocked that they haven't deleted this one. I'll just make another one and fucking talk my shit and upload everything again. Like that's the fucking thing. The same people that are like, oh, you lost all your subscribers. You still watching, bitch? You still watching, you motherfucker? No matter what you came over here for, you're still watching. Oh, you know. So. Anyway, I retired Navy and have arthritis. I can't run anymore. What cardio do you suggest? Swimming, or I love my volume training. I, I lift weights just faster for cardio, you know? Thoughts on double maskers? Either extremely, extremely terrified or extremely, 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 extremely terrified and or extremely, extremely stupid fucking people. That's what I think about double maskers. Extremely, extremely dumb. It just really, really is. It's just, it makes no sense. Fucking ridiculous. Let's stop childhood BC. Exactly. What do you do when you hit a plateau doing weightlifting, eating only whole foods, no alcohol or coffee? You you either visit a doctor or you reduce the amount of food you're eating because it's still about energy balance. I mean, that's just fucking, that's reality. It's up to the parents and childhood obesity, not society. Well, society can openly say, if you get your child obese, you need to fucking fix it. The problem is we don't say that shit. So society actually needs, society actually does need to play a part. Society actually does need to say, hey, maybe you shouldn't fucking put that Mountain Dew in a sippy cup, you know? Any advice for someone that's been in a car accident, a car hit me two years ago, and I kind of... And I kind of run, have need to stop favoring my right side. Go to a fucking doctor. Holy shit, people. What, what, do you, like, and maybe, I, I, you know what, I hope that dude's trolling. Like, I, the problem is, I, I know people are this actually fucking stupid. Like, for what the fuck is wrong with you people? Don't fucking ask, like, medical, what would be physical therapy advice over a fucking, I'm a weight, like, I'm a weight loss specialist anyway. Why the fuck would you ask me that? Go to a fucking doctor. Jeez, people, don't be dumb. Did you see the clips where they had Biden the stream cut? Yeah, man, to not even let him fucking... Uh, anyway, I'm going to... I'm, so, I'm sure you're not going to uh, going to take a piece... If you're not going to take on a piece of fabric, fucking get the fuck out of here. Fucking leave. <laughs> what do you think about marijuana? That was the project I was just building for after this call. I thought I'm a very, very big advocate. That's my... I normally, by the way, and this is what I normally use, just to be real. Uh, this is an atomizer, and this way you don't actually breathe in the smoke. You just get the THC and the C, and the C, you just get the goodies without the smoke. So this is what I normally use. It's a hit atomizer. I need a new one. Uh, I'm probably going to upgrade. Uh, but that's normally how I take my THC in. And, but today, today I'm just going to chill. So I know that's not healthy for me. I'm making the decision of the enjoyment of sitting out here. On a nice spring day in beautiful southwest Florida, where it's about 74 degrees and I'm still a little chilly because <laughs> there's not that much humidity in the air, I'm gladly going to fucking just sit and puff for a little bit and fucking listen to some music here when I'm done. So, uh, yes, I know it's not healthy, but I'm having that instead of an alcoholic beverage this week. So. You said you wouldn't run for office, which I get why, but what's about uh, public activists, YouTube notwithstanding? Activism is something I will probably be doing in, in the next year or two, just to be real. I've, I've already been, like, there's already been discussions about having me speak at different events. So, uh, but I'm not going to run for office. I, I, yeah, I don't want that. I, 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 don't, I don't want that. I really don't. I want to make a difference and retire at, you know, at some point in time. I don't, I don't want to fucking go into public office. I noticed that doctors who get busted in Florida partying maskless no longer post about the flu. Yeah, that dumbass motherfucker. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pay him another fucking visit soon. Mountain Dew in a sippy cup is child abuse. It really should be seen that way. Kids should watch Wally. Exactly. Never would have figured me for a smoker. I'm not really a smoker. I just use THC. Um, but I do. I mean, I'll, I, 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 I'll do that instead of drink. Okay, like maybe once a week. Love your channel. Thank you very much. 
Aren't vaccines less effective in obese people anyway? Much less effective in obese people. Imagine a world where people act their age instead of, act, act their age instead of their IQ. Uh, how do you feel about the COVID vaccine? I would not take that thing, but if you're of high risk, I can understand why you would. I, if I was a female that was thinking about being pregnant ever, I would never take any of them either, because they have no, they didn't do any testing, they have no idea. So I, but I personally will not take the COVID-19 vaccine. There's no need for me to take, I don't need a vaccine that, especially since the vaccines don't stop you from getting it or spreading it. They just stop the outcomes. There's no fucking need, not zero for me. We still talking about masks and COVID-19, bro. At this point, if you think it's about the public health, yeah, I know, I know. I only use cannabis, never drink. I can see, I, I, I can hear you. You seem so amped, you just seem so amped and not mellow. That is just my personality, motherfuckers. I've said this a billion times. That is literally just my personality. It's, it's just kind of who the fuck I am. Let me see if I can lower that down, actually, a little bit, make myself more comfortable. It's literally just who the fuck I am. So it's, it's, it, that's, that's all. You mentioned before that you, that you kayak, do you own a kayak? We own an inflatable kayak, so. Uh, and I'm not gonna recommend any because then somebody will be like, oh, that's not that bad, blah, blah, blah. So no, I'm female, low risk, not taking it. You, you absolutely should not. I, I, if I was a low risk female that was thinking about having children later on, there's no fucking way I would take this vaccine, zero. No, they say they they say they have no idea how it will affect fertility. They they openly say this. I I would never, ever. If you have a daughter, if if you have a daughter, a, excuse, a biological female daughter, if you have a biological female daughter, I would never fucking ever fucking like give them this vaccine. I would make sure they're as healthy as possible. But they are at no fucking risk from this fucking vac- from this virus. Like, like people, kids under eighteen that are healthy are almost like they are. There's like the school bus is way more dangerous for them. Way, way more, you know? How you been lately? I've been fucking killing it, man. I've been very fucking happy. We got some crazy, awesome fucking shit about to happen. So I've been fucking loving it. No shit. I mean, that's the thing, like, I love watching the fucking trolls show up because they, like, revel in thinking, like, his life is miserable. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's horrible. (laughs) You've lost 10,000 subscribers. If, if, if what's been happening recently... Is correlated to that. I hope I lose a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Fucking for real. Like if 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 that's a correlation, if subscriber count on YouTube going down is a correlation for what's about to happen, I hope I lose fucking a lot more. A lot, a lot, a lot more, motherfuckers. You motherfuckers think that like YouTube is like the fucking thing. Fucking crazy. What is it in reference to fifteen days of slow to spread? How about a fifteen day everybody for fifteen days eliminates processed carbohydrates, processed foods, and processed sugar out of their out of their nutrition. And no artificial sweeteners. Well, we're going to add that one because dumb fuck was like, what about Diet Coke? And no artificial sweeteners. So, 15 days. If you can't do it for 15 days, maybe you have a fucking problem and you should get some fucking help. If you can do it for 15 days, after that 15 days is up, how much better do you fucking feel? Right? How much better do you feel? I woke up early enough just to catch you live on channel. What's up, motherfucker? I have ADHD, so I, I get being hyper. I mean, it's just me, you know. Uh, bio- biological female daughter. I'm just, the fucked up thing is, you know, I said that. It, it, you're, I said that, and I'm sure somebody's going to get pissed off. But if you have a biological female daughter, they're the ones that need to be reprodu- worried about reproducing. You know, I mean, I the I'm not going to. You guys can fucking label me whatever fuck you want. I have trans clients. I think trans people have every right to fucking feel the way they want to feel. And I'd have no problem with adults choosing whatever fuck they want. And if you if you present as a woman, I'm going to call you ma'am. Unless I think you look like a man. If I think... I'm sorry, but if I still think you look like a man in, in woman's clothing, I'm going to call you a dude. You know, unless you specifically ask me not to. Because maybe you're just a dude and you just want to wear women's clothing, but you want to be referred to as a man. Like, you motherfuckers make it too fucking complicated. I mean, that's the thing. Like, let me, it, you know, if you want to hang a sign, I'm a he, she, I'm a he or him. Okay. I'll, I'm fucking good with that. But don't be mad at me if I, if I, you, and don't be mad at me if I fucking forget. If you look like a man and you want to be called a woman, don't be mad at me if I forget and call you dude. It's just fucking how it's going to be. And if you guys don't like that, I don't give a fuck. For real. But I, the trans people I know have no fucking problem with this at all. The trans people I know have no fucking issues. And I have trans clients. They have no fucking issues with that. It's this ridiculous bullshit of like, you, you, what's happening is this is actually 
hurting trans people. You guys get that, right? It's hurting trans people. It's hurting how they're viewed by the majority of people. It's, it's, it's making it seem like we want to put them above people, like dominance. Like, women are being eradicated. Like, women's sports are being eradicated right now. It's fucking pathetic. Just tune in, motherfucker. What's up, Dallin Chance? How the fuck are you? You don't look miserable. I'm not miserable. That's <laughs> for sure. Alan's a huge reason for, for Alan, a huge reason for obesity is sugar companies marketing. Exactly. It's fucking enormous. Seek counseling. Me? I've I've been in counseling before, dude. Many times. Many, many times. The Cabana Rose spike proteins look like just like the Well, here, here's another thing too that people don't understand. Insulin high insulin levels are will cause the disease to be back cause the disease to be worse. Because COVID nineteen virus, I believe, also uses the ACE one inhibitor the, the ACE one. It also goes in the same way. So high insulin levels are just going to let that shit into the cell more. So high insulin levels will, like, lowering sugar intake will prevent high infection of COVID-19. It's just fucking fact. It's, it's, it's statistics. It's numbers. It's science, bitches. I thought you yeah, got booted for all the cuss words. They're, they probably will sooner or later. Had, had COVID a few weeks ago. Silver lining can focus on the textures of food. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. I'm older than you, and I go everywhere without a mask. I mean, what the fuck, people? Subscriber count doesn't equal happiness? Absolutely not. Uh, I agree with uh, with that name change. In fact, advertisements as exist today. Uh, exactly. Alan, we all know you've been skipping my questions. What's your question there, William? It's called withdrawal. Da, 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 da. YouTube is becoming holly, uh, holly tube little by little. No shit, weird, right? Elizabeth, that's your insulin pumped out more than your body needs. Serious sign of insulin resistance. It's also a way to get uh, harsh COVID. Remember back in 2017, did you just assume my gender? What a time to be alive. No shit, what the fuck? It's clearly hurting trans people, or more importantly, it's hurting the decent trans people. That's it exactly. Uh, Dadius Dream Journal. That's it exactly. That's truly it exactly. It really is. That's interesting. I just saw TikTok, a super straight movement. I think it's a reaction to the extremists on the woke movement. Possibly. How's my day going, mighty fast feline? Very fucking good. No more processed carbs. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The question for you, Alan, have you ever been, have you ever considered looking at legal solutions for the way you've been treated by social media? And do the with uh, and do with people like uh, Legal Eagle also on YouTube. I have not. I really have not because again, if what cancel culture is, if if what's about to happen is a result of what cancel culture wants to do to me, they can definitely keep fucking trying to do it. So there's several several very good things happening soon. So uh, and it honestly didn't like. I'm used to not being liked by a huge portion of the audience. Now, YouTube suppressing shit, it's just them suppressing shit. That's not even new to me either, just from how, from how I talk. They've never liked me. They only really liked me during the big, the, when they pushed me really, really, really big in between like the 150 and 200, 250,000 subscriber count. They really pushed me really, really hard right then um, because uh, that was during their time where they didn't want as much content that could possibly be construed for kids because they had just had to pay out that big fucking dump to uh, dump to the FCC for the children thing. That's when they they installed that stuff. They pushed me really, really, really hard then uh, because they wanted more, I guess they wanted more edgy adulterers type content. Uh, but I mean, I, I've, it's the same thing I've always said. Anybody that depends on YouTube has really got fucking problems. It's not, it's not a good fucking business model to be dependent upon YouTube. That's for fucking sure. Let me adjust this down just a little bit, guys. Jump, jump, jump. Anyway, there you go. Bam. I'm only going to be on for a little bit longer. I only wear a mask because of the mandate. The moment they step outside, mask comes off. I agree. I feel bad for the transgender people. It's, seriously, it's, it's serious. How do you convince friends to stop feeding their children garbage? I call them bad parents. And if they continue to do so, I won't be their friend. That, that's pretty simple. Uh, I'm not going to be around while you abuse your kids with food. Fuck. You know? I wear masks in local businesses because not doing so makes the workers have to enforce corporate policies. I tell them to get their manager, and then they never do. They made it mass outside uh, outside in California. Idiocy. Sheer fucking idiocy. YouTube and Facebook has become more of a dumpster fire over the past year. Absolutely. Alan is uncancelable. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying if you cancel me, it's not going to fucking matter. Like, that's the thing. 
Like, if people like me or hate me, I don't care. I'm just going to say my shit. I actually just like saying my shit. And I like getting a reaction. Of course, I like getting a reaction. But if I don't get, have that, this isn't what makes me actually happy in life. This is just how I talk about my shit and promote my shit and everything like that. That can be done many ways and is done many ways. And again, if what's happening coming up soon is a result of anything that's happened over the last year, I got to thank YouTube and Instagram and the Fat Acceptance community and everybody. For real. <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, because it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, and you guys will know soon enough. But I just, you know, they, you have to care. You have to care to be canceled. Like, what are you gonna do? Call me a racist again? What are you gonna do? Say I don't know what I'm talking about again? What are you gonna do? Call me fat? Call me bald again? Fat again? Old again? Say something about my teeth? Say something about my eyes? Say something about whatever? What the fuck you, what you? Say what the fuck you want about me? Like that's the thing. You still coming to fucking say it though? Like you're still showing up to fucking say it? You know? And then you're listening. And then you'll talk about it with other people. I hate this fucking bald motherfucker. That fucking asshole. I fucking... I troll him all the time. I troll him all the time. I troll him. I, you know, like, you know, that doesn't mean that you're owned. Like, if you literally show up to everything everybody does, everything everybody does, and absorbs it, and you absorb it as fast as humanly possible, and then you can't think... Wait, you can't wait for that person to say something that you want to fucking disagree with. They own you, okay? They own part of you, you know? Like, if, if, if it's this stage where it's like that, it's one thing if you, if it can possibly help you in any way, if it can possibly, you know, help your social media presence in any way, but if you are just, like, people that get upset about shit like that, like, it's fucking pathetic, you know, like, set yourself up to be happy in your fucking life, you know, if you, if you need social media to do that, you're setting yourself up to be happy in your life incorrectly, it's just very fucking true. And Bobby thinks can go back to normal this summer. They're never things will never go back to normal. And here's why. Too many people are very pro being a pussy, and too many people are very pro being free. And that's why. What about masks outside that are mandatory? I wouldn't wear one. I would I would I would I would carry I would carry around the constitution with me everywhere and I would not wear one. I'm just like or I'd move. <laughs> For real. Are sweetened sugars uh, inoffensive in terms of how bad or good they are? If, don't eat the 15 days of spread. Don't eat anything processed. Is yogurt processed? If you cannot go without something that is processed for 15 days, it's a problem. They can cancel you if you don't let them, right? Okay, I see. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. I was wondering uh, after the parlor debacle, thank you for answering. I, parlor meant nothing to me either. So, I mean, that's the fucking thing. What are they going to do? What are they gonna, I mean... The thing is, I'm not like I'm not dependent upon social media that way, I'm just, and I never would be, ever, ever, ever. It sounds fine from the trans perspective. I'm already uh, infertile, so that doesn't impact vaccine choice for me. Health is obviously the choice. So. Five, eight, two, ten, twelve percent body fat suffering from anorexia disorder. Thoughts? <laughs> Your five, eight, two, ten, twelve percent suffering from anorexia disorder would actually sound more like orthorexia disorder. But you can absolutely talk to a, a psychologist about that. That's what you should. That's who you should talk to. The void that bites. The best thing to do is avoid processed food at all costs. Absolutely. If they if they want if if they want sweet for if you want sweet food, a sweet potato is sweet. People like uh, if you don't eat sugar for two weeks, a sweet potato is going to taste sweet. My boyfriend, my boyfriend's nephew is fat, and I want to help him. What should I do? You should very very clearly talk to his. Uh, Talk to your boyfriend, then talk, have, then get your boyfriend on board, then your boyfriend, and you approach it with the parents of the boy as basically as you can. UK has mass inside, but emphasize is on distance, as in two meters. I believe that obesity crisis is a real problem, as you do. It absolutely is. Hi from UK. What's up? It's stigmatizing to automatically assume that somebody is in worse health because of their body weight. Dr. Joshua Orowitz. Dr. Joshua Woolrich also said that... Uh, he does believe the science that says that cancer is more prevalent because of obesity in 13 different types. He also said, and openly admitted, in debate with me, that there would be a weight that he would suggest weight loss for. That weight loss is a viable treatment option because being obese is not healthy for you. Dr. Joshua Orwicks is also a fucking idiot who panders to you motherfuckers. Weight stigma is bullshit, okay? Here's the thing. There's not stigma around it being unhealthy because it's unhealthy. There's no stigma around it. You're unhealthy. If you're obese, 
if somebody calls you unhealthy, that it's not stigma, that it's fact. So if, it was, if it's that, that you want to be, that you don't want people to be considered lazy, okay, that's just rude anyway. A lot of people consider a lot of people rude. It's not stigma. Or, or a lot of people consider a lot of people lazy. It's not stigma. It's just their opinion. There's no stigma. There's no stigma about being obese being unhealthy for you because being obese is unhealthy for you. Therefore, it can't be stigmatized. People making excuses for obese people right now is killing obese people. That's the fucking problem. For real. Dr. Joshua Orowitz should know better because he knows that being obese is unhealthy for a person. He knows this. So he should at least, if he didn't want to be considered a complete fucking quack, he should at least put a disclaimer on that while being obese is unhealthy for you, you shouldn't treat obese people this way. Instead, he acts like there's no fucking problem with it. When in fact, being obese is a state of ill health. It is a state of high inflammation. It is bad for you. Morbidly obese people die at a more prevalent rate than any fucking body. It is very unhealthy for you to be obese. He's a doctor. He should fucking know that. Anyway, how do you feel about organic foods? Do you think they are superior to normal? I, I mean, it depends on the farm, I guess. I don't know. I, I haven't checked that out that much. Saving, the saving lives argument has never been more crucial decision. Alan, what's the biggest, what is the biggest health impact you have seen felt since downsizing? Um, you know, I was expecting, this is bad because I was, I was kind of this size not too long ago and I was expecting to feel how I felt back then because I dieted back then. Uh, and this time was just like a complete lifestyle shift. So I was expecting to feel bad about this size uh, because right about this size is when I started like really losing performance again. But I just feel really, really healthy. Like, I, I feel ready to push myself. I'm going to push myself this week a little bit in the gym, you know. Uh, and not, uh, not weight. I'm not pushing weight. I'm just going to push myself to be a little bit more intense, maybe a little bit more volume, time under tension, that sort of thing, uh, in the gym. And uh, maybe, maybe even hit some, more, some harder power yoga this week, too. Uh, but also, I'm sleeping well. The visceral fat this time, like, I have no visceral fat left. Like, I, I'm, it's, it's, like, fucking gone, gone. So... Uh, I just feel really, really, really good. My cognition seems to be much better. Like my ADHD is a little bit more under control this time. Uh, I'm not sure about why. I'm also, I'm also, I am taking a few supplements for uh, like a few neurotropics for cognition and stuff like that too right now because I got a lot of shit going on. But, but I just feel amazing. Uh, let's see. We have to stop being sheep. Absolutely. Need to wear about six masks to avoid drinking Kool Aid. No shit. I prefer to focus. Uh, I prefer this focus video, so I agree with you here. Okay. Indifference is the ultimate rejection. Yep, yeah, because you allow that person to power over you. I just sent you a message on Twitter with the link to the science study, man. Thank you very much, BB Cuber. I appreciate it. Let's see if I can. I got to scroll down here a little bit. I'm trying to finish up a few questions, see if I missed anything. Uh, are you going to be. Uh, are you going to be a guest at AX Live this year? Probably not. Uh, I, I, did, I, I didn't realize they were still having it. This, I mean, oh, he, I, I didn't know if he was still going to have it this year and next year, but probably not. I, I didn't. I told him that I was not going to be like, I'm not traveling to New York. That's for fucking through New York. That's for fucking sure. Like for all I know, they'll fucking like close the fucking borders down and shit like that again. Fuck that. So, and I got a lot of shit going on this summer. So, and we didn't know we were going to have it, so I booked some other shit. So. Do you drink coffee? About one cup, one to two cups a day. That's about it. But no, I'm not going to be at Athlete X. Not unless all this shit changes. Like, not unless, like, they fucking just admit that they were... If, they, if, if the fucking lemmings will come out and admit that they just fucking freaked and overreacted and they realized that masks did nothing to actually fucking stop it. Like, lo lockdowns and masks did nothing to stop this shit, people. Like, it's fucking... The evidence is fucking clear. Like, it, so, unless they fucking admit that shit. If they admit that shit and we fucking go back to some sense of normalcy, I'll fucking go up. Of course, I'd fucking go to that event any fucking time. But uh, the last I left it with him now. I, I told him I'd be going next year. So. And you're a Pittsburgher guy, right? I am. I grew up in the south hills of Pittsburgh. So. When's my the, the hunger traffic? I, th I think you're talking about the, the hunger management uh, PDF. I'm I was gonna put I'm gonna put it up on the site at some point in time, either today or tomorrow. I wanted to make sure it was fucking done correctly. Or at least had had enough like examples. So lockdowns don't work. Where's your data on that, bro? All over the fucking place, asshole. Where's your data that fucking works, bro? It's all obesity related. 
you know it. It's all obesity related. You know it. It's obesity or elderly related. I mean, this is showing this. Dude, dude. Thanks, thanks for your input, Alan. Uh, country, stop country shaming me. Sorry, man. Sorry about that, Satan. But dude, and it's a real, and the person who put it's not a real virus. It's a fucking real virus. Stop, stop. Your hunger control pill coming out. It's a, uh, the hunger, the, the hunger management nutritional solution is going to come out uh, hopefully in a little bit. Hopefully in like a month or so. So we'll see. Month or two. But uh, lockdowns do not work. Florida, we've been open in Florida since May. We're 27th or 28th in the nation for, uh, for deaths per million. Lockdowns don't work. Clearly. Like, where's your evidence? Everywhere. <laughs> Prove where they worked. Uh, why control your urges when you use sleeping pills? The sleeping pill thing is fucking ridiculous. You're, abs you're absolutely ridiculous. Imagine if we didn't lock down. Yeah, like Sweden. People. Viruses are going to virus, okay? What we should have done, what I said, is we should have helped the immunocompromised and elderly that chose to isolate. We should have done whatever we could to help them isolate because my plan would have actually saved them. But since we decided we were just going to let the virus cull the herd, because that's what actually happened, they took the sickest and most elderly people away from us. You understand that. I mean, that, that's the fucking reality. Sweden have horrible death numbers compared to Norway. Dude. You're a fucking crazy person, okay? Uh, if you can't see that lockdowns did nothing, if we can survive without it. And here's the thing, and I know this is hard for some of you to hear, but if two or three, four times the number of people would have passed away, if, even if we didn't lock down, which they wouldn't have. We, it was already proven that, like, at mid, at the, like, these are just the waves. Viruses are going to virus. Look up Farr's Law. It's a fucking actual thing. Check it out, you dumb fucks. But, um, <laughs> dude... Oh, sorry. It does not work. Lockdowns do not work. But even if we lost like fucking 10 times the number of people, bro, I just gotta let you know, the damage that was caused to the economy and the children and shit like that was still not worth it. There's never a reason to lock people down. It does not stop anything. Lockdowns only cause damage. They do not, they do not fucking ever produce a net positive. Uh, Gerald Crowder, lost 45 pounds using your methods. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Can finally see my abs. I really appreciate the work you do. Uh, obesity kills. Gerald, thank you very much. I appreciate the donation, buddy. Thank you. Imagine if we locked down for the past 10 years, each time the flu came up. No shit. Stupid shit. Just stupid. Dumb, 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 dumb shit. Think hunger and eating is a habit in sense your body will adjust. Uh, exactly. Come on, Alan. You know these people don't think anything that the government from the media tells them. It's just fucking crazy. So. Did I lose anybody to COVID? I have lost multiple people to the flu in the last five years. I can tell you that. But nobody in my immediate family to COVID. No, absolutely not. I don't even know. I don't even know anybody immediately that got COVID. I really don't. Um, and uh, but I have lost people to the flu. And, see, I've been around death for a long time. Like, again, I worked with long-term care hospitals. You know. Uh, People, you know, people on hospice for almost 15 years as a hospital executive. People fucking die, dude. Every fucking year. Every fucking year. Every fucking day a grandma dies. I know that's hard. But she dies of many fucking reasons. And she probably lived a long, fucking happy, healthy life. And you know what? That grandma or that grandpa that passed away that day would probably be fucking sick beside themselves if they thought that their grandchildren were going to suffer to try to give them even an extra fucking year. You know what I mean? Like, it disgusts me that we're having this fucking argument. When we know this is negatively affecting the youth of today. It fucking disgusts me that you people are such fucking pussy ass motherfuckers that you're willing to fucking trade off a few years more of fucking barely existing for elderly people when you know it's damaging decades and decades and decades worth of children's lives. It's ridiculous. If you're like at best, I probably at best I probably have another mm, 40, 30 or 40 years in me at fucking best. I probably only have about another 30 years where I'm like really fucking ha enjoying life at the fucking best, right? But yet a fucking, you know, six-year-old right now has probably got another fucking 75 fucking years of that shit. If it's a choice of giving them their fucking shot, I've lived a full fucking life. If there's a virus that comes along that targets fucking angry old fucking bald men next, don't fucking fuck the world up trying to save me and fucking like uh, Bruce Willis and J.K. Simons and any of us. Don't fucking try to fucking save the world to fucking save us. Don't fuck the world up to save us. We've had a good fucking run. 
Just let us the fuck go. And, and worry about the fucking children, shall we? Worry about my kid and my grandkids. I'd prefer you fucking look after them instead of look after me. The virus isn't fucking dangerous to them at all, whatsoever, at fucking all. So I prefer you look after them than worry about, worry about me. I've already fucking drank my beer, drank my wine. You know, me, me, and my, me and my wife love the fuck out of each other. Like, what the fuck? I've already had my fucking time. Don't worry about the fucking rest of society, you fucking pussies. Norway lockdown, 2.5 deaths. Sweden, no lockdown, 13 deaths. I'm good with that. And Sweden also fucked up with their, with their own system. And Norway is going to stay perpetually locked down or they're going to keep getting those fucking deaths. You realize that. Like, lockdown is a way to stay locked down forever. The virus is going to virus. You people are just fucking pansy-ass, stupid-ass pussies. You lost four people to COVID. I'm very sorry about your loss. Do you wear a mask when you were working in the ICUs before COVID? No, because they weren't required at all in ICUs. When I would go, th when I would go through to do my round, my, my round, my check rounds, no, no, I did not. Nor did the doctors, nor did the nurses. That's not how that works because, uh, because masks don't stop viruses. Do you know why surgeons wear masks? Surgeons wear masks to not accidentally spit directly into the open wound since they're hanging over for so long and not get blood splatter into their fucking mouth and shit like that. That's the only reason why doctors wear masks like that. The only fucking reason. You people are fucking moronic. Sad. My coworker that had COVID enjoyed the time off. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they're okay. The people I lost were 35, 39, 53, and 75. Again, I'm very sorry for your loss, but your anecdotal data doesn't your anecdotal data doesn't change the fact that we never should have locked down and masks don't do shit. I think uh, I think your point of BMI 40 plus rates and death rates are interesting comparison, but something to worry about uh, is the long COVID symptoms. That is with every virus, you pussy ass motherfuckers. You know who should worry about that? You should worry about that just as much as the flu. So take your fucking fear, take your pussy assness, and get the fuck off. Leave. You sound like a fucking. What should be concerned is the long haul shit. Fuck off. That's like if you can find a reason why I should be concerned about that, why I should let it affect my personal liberties, let me know. Until then, fuck off. Your fear is not where my fucking. Your fear does not stop my freedom, bitches. I hope you. I hope you motherfuckers get used to this because I can very clearly tell you that the mask and the fucking social distancing thing bullshit. People are just going to give the fuck up on that because obesity is the very clear epidemic. It's the very clear problem. Obesity and age is why COVID-19 was bad. Period. It's factual. It's not even deniable. My mom is, ob is obese and she said she had COVID two months ago and said it was a bad flu. I'm glad she's okay. Stop trying to justify no lockdowns. I don't need to justify it. You can look around and say and see why there's no, no need for it. Period. Uh, the lockdown is wimps, bigger ones. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here in a minute, guys. Alan, in Poland, we don't have lockdowns because our scientists and healthcare professionals have proven masks don't work, so we walk around with without masks, obesity kills. Get at it, motherfucker. And let's see. The body locks virus. I fucking love it. Lord, Nor Lord Nemesis, that's fucking awesome. Oops. Yeah. Let's see here. Rob Z, thank you. Alan, don't forget, don't forget it. We got a lockdown for the next five years until COVID no longer exists. It's insane. It's so ridiculous. Like, people, you need to realize this virus has been around the world several times already, motherfuckers. It's crazy. Like, this in, this virus has probably infected, you know, you know, the actual probably estimated case cases of this right now is in like the 1.5 billion area. You know, like, it's just how viruses work, people. It just kills less. It's like the waves are getting smaller because it's wiping off the people it's going to kill. Now, if we could really get people healthy, we would have fucking done something. Mask is to protect others, not necessarily yourself. Too many people don't understand that, unfortunately. That's why I wear mine for others to, not to protect myself. Dude, masks don't protect nobody. You sound like a fucking ridiculous person right now. Masks don't protect anybody. They don't. Viruses travel on aerosolized vapor. If masks protected a lot of people, explain California. Your fear does not stop my freedom. This is why you get trans clients. This is how people sound who need their lives, need their, their lives. Thank you. My mom is in the ICU. She says she rarely ever sees the flu virus. Let's 
say. Uh, okay. Only a few more questions. Don't N95 masks works only because they're polarized and, and regular fabric masks don't. Regular fabric masks don't do a goddamn thing. N95 masks are, they still have 5%. And N95 masks need to be fitted. Like, I mean, it's it's just stupid. It's just dumb that we, we even argue it. Anyway. <laughs> Morbidly obese man uh, dies of COVID. Reporter says mostly healthy. I, I've seen that so many fucking times. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much. So that's the 15-day challenge. The 15-day challenge is so the spread of obesity. I think everybody should fucking do it. Goddamn.